and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. Today is October 1st and I'm going to be doing my very first Halloween costume series. Ah, I cannot wait. I have been planning this for quite some time, gathering all different kinds of materials. I have so many things coming for you guys in the month of October, so I really hope you stick around. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that big red button before you go. Um, I normally upload every Monday and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm gonna have those all linked down below for you guys. Um, so the very first look that I have decided to create for you guys is obviously Wednesday Adams. Now this is my take on Wednesday, definitely a little bit more older, mature Wednesday Adams. Um, and I really, really like how this turned out. So if you guys want to see how I created this look for Wednesday, then just keep watching. Also, a quick side note. Ugh, I hate this, but I, I didn't have time to re-record the end. In the end, you will see me wearing a different wig. I really did not like how that wig looked. So I went back to the store, got a black wig, braided it myself. Hello. <laughs> so you will definitely see me in a different wig towards the end. Um, so I'm very, very sorry about that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Oh, so excited. Oh my gosh. All right, so one of the first steps I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just prime my face with some Benefit Porefessional Primer. I do have a lot of pores. Definitely need to smooth that out. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take some Urban Decay Primer Potion and just prime my eyes. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and I set my eyes with just some translucent powder. Um, you can use any translucent powder that you have. And the first palette I'm going to go in with is the Norvina palette. Um, and I'm going to take my M Morphe M441. I'm going to start with the color Incense and I'm going to put that um, along our crease. I am going to bring it down just a little bit right in here so it makes me look like I'm tired like I've been up all night long although <laughs> that doesn't take much work to do <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 and I'm actually gonna to switch to the Soft Glam palette and we are going to take Dusty Rose and we're gonna do the same exact thing. drama and we're going to put that all over our lid Celestial to kind of keep that purple shimmer alive. Not too much though. I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out. Add some more dusty rose. Okay, since Wednesday Adams has really freaking pale skin, like almost white, um, I, what I have decided to do is go in with my absolute lightest winter shade. Um, that makes it actually really, really freaking pale. So that's gonna be pretty close to it. Um, I'm just not gonna go in with the solid white. So this is the NARS. Um, NARS foundation in the color Gobby. Um, yeah, so 
<laughs> Let's get pale. This is my winter shade. Oh, I get so pale. So, but it is perfect for this look. All right, we're gonna do some tart shape tape on the bottom. Just a little bit. much of a contour girl so let's hope this goes right <laughs> but I'm gonna do just a little bit of contour of the cheekbones and kind of like right here we're not gonna go above on the forehead because we don't want to bring this to life we want to kind of keep it looking um, you know pale <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go in with this is the original Tarte clay pal clay play palette and I'm gonna go in with just this middle shade right here, Desert. It's kind of like a cool tone brown. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my M441 and I'm going to take the shade Incense and we're gonna put that on our lower lash line. Okay, and I'm gonna take my M433 and we're gonna go in to Soft Glam and use the color Dusty Rose and really pack that on our lower lash line. Okay, so it should look a little something like this. All right, so what I'm going to do really fast off camera is I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. Now she does have very black brows, and I know this might take me just a few minutes longer than normal, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, so I definitely had some trouble. I am so glad I did it off camera. The right eyebrow, is okay the left eyebrow oh my gosh I just I did the best I could I thought it would be so smart to go in with the NYX jumbo eye pencil in black don't do that just go in with a shadow so um, I went ahead and I lined my top eye with my Kat Von D tattoo liner for my lower lash line, I do want to line it with a black eyeliner I'm gonna go in with my Milani waterproof eyeliner Okay, because I do not wear falsies, I am going to go in with some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This gives me the longest, fullest eyelashes, um, but definitely if you can do eyelashes, add them on because it will help the look. I'm going to apply my wig. Um, off camera just because it's something I have not done before and I'll be right back okay so I am back I feel a little weird but okay it is what it is now um she has a very predominant widow's peak so I'm just actually going to create that right along with the wig I'm just gonna shade that in with a a black shadow all right 
So this wig, <laughs> not the best wig ever, but it will work. Um, it's just a long black braided wig. I think the problem is, is it's kind of poofy right here because the braids start up here versus down here. But I got my pigtails. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of highlight um, and I'm going to use basically a very, very pale light shade. <laughs> we're going to finish this look off with some lipstick now I didn't want to use just a solid black lipstick um, this is a little bit more of a mature Wednesday Adams so I'm going to go in with black cherry that's kind of what I did like a purpley look versus just solid black this is the Fora lipstick in the color black cherry <laughs> I know Wednesday Adams likes all things creepy crawly, so I did gather my little um, spider earrings. I'm just gonna throw these in real fast. <laughs> So that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you liked the way that this turned out. I know I really did. I had so much fun creating it. I just really hope you guys stay tuned to see what I have coming up next. So if you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>